I'm super excited. Like I've been talking about it for so long, bro. We're 200 subs away from a million, bro. But by the time we post it, we're gonna be at a million. A million subs. It's been amazing. I'm actually creating a video tomorrow. I'm gonna do like this big thing for IG. This is like my passion. Like I like to get creative. Like on my IG reels, you'll see like, it's just like my personality. It's kind of like I'm talking to my crowd. First and foremost, I have to thank God. Like if it wasn't for him, I would not be here today. I would never in a million years think that I would be in front of a million people doing what I do today. Like I said, my goal, my dream was always football. I always wanted to be in front of a million people, millions of people, be at this high caliber, and I wanted to be so great. I, want, I pretty much wanted to be really great, get to the top, and then once I get to the top, give God all of the glory. Whew. I always wanted to be in front of millions of people for that specific reason. I really do have to say, like, I appreciate you guys, bro. It, it means a lot to me. It's just crazy how just like, you know, God works and how things come together. You like, you might have your mind set on one thing, but God might have something different for you. And that's not just fitness. That's not just social media. That's, you know, relationships. Uh, jobs, anything. Pursue something, but also keep an open mind. Something else might happen and it might be even better. You guys have really been tapping in, man, as far as like, you know, sending me your before and after pictures. When I can just see all of that stuff coming in, especially from the app, like I have to really just put a big pinpoint on that because when I see that me and the team, like we're changing lives, like we're like getting people in shape, we're giving people the tools and putting them in the best situation to see the best results. You know what I'm saying? Like the free content is always dope. I'm always gonna push the free content. But the stuff that we have in the app, man, it just so much time goes behind that stuff. And I have like a whole team behind me. Yeah, a million subs, bro. A million subscribers. I'm actually gonna hit it tonight. Dang, God is good. YouTube, what's going on today? I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day. I've actually filmed this video a few times. The last time I filmed it, so I just, I caught COVID. I was out for like three or four days. Just to let you guys know, you definitely should be taking that serious. There's something going around right now. Like I know a lot of people who caught it, but today I'm gonna be taking you guys step by step of what I eat in a day on prep. If you don't know, I'm on prep. I don't really have a show date. I'm not really, really thinking about competing because you know, my, my idea of competing is not getting on stage and beating, you know, the dude to the right and to the left of me. I'm more so thinking about myself. Like I wanna be, myself. So you see I just got on the scale. I was 207 pounds this morning. Of course I had shoes on, a hat, and a mic and stuff like that with the camera in my hand. So I think it showed like 209 um, was my vlog camera so it was pretty light but a lot of people ask me questions about my weight. They're like yo I'm thinking you're like 230, 240 but I am 510. So I'm usually like 510, 220 which is pretty heavy for my height. My goal at this point I've gotten down to like a new low which is 207, I feel great here. I don't think I would mind staying at 205 like indefinitely. I'm about to go film a run video. Getting into that, this video is sponsored by Brooks. Super excited about this partnership. You see I got the tank top on, I got the black shorts on. So I'm gonna put the name of the exact shirt and shorts I'm gonna be wearing for the entire video, along with the shoes, of course. I'm either gonna wear my Tempos or my Hyperion Max. My Hyperion Max shoes have been my go-to lately. I wore those in my last running video. You can't go wrong with the shoe, man, honestly. like they're super light, they're durable, and they get the job done when it comes to the swag. You know we gotta look good. You look good, you play good. But anyways, getting into meal number one. Usually when I wake up, you guys can see at the beginning of the video, I was drinking some water. I usually start my day with two 16 ounce water bottles. I really like to knock out at least a quarter of a gallon before I start my day. I'm the type of guy like 12 o'clock can hit noon and I haven't had a, a cup of water and then I have to catch up later and that's super intimidating. So right now while I'm on prep, I'm drinking 200 ounces of water a day. It was hard at first, but now I feel like my body kind of needs it. You're first week or two, it's gonna feel tough. It's like, dang, I'm drinking so much water, I feel full. I almost feel like I'm gonna drown drink, <laughs> drinking all this water. But once you get like two or three weeks in, bro, like if you keep pushing at it, your body will crave that water. And that's the same thing with cardio. That's the same thing with working out in general. Your body's gonna crave these things that are so good for you. But anyways, getting to the first meal, this is what I'll normally eat right here. So I usually do these egg whites. I'll have it with some oats. I'm gonna put all the measurements and stuff like that on the screen. Now my measurements are probably gonna be a little bit different than what yours should be. We're different weights, I'm 5'10", 207. I'm looking to get down to like 203 pounds maybe. We'll see how low we can get. I know bodybuilding, like they cut back on a lot of food, but I don't feel like I'm starving myself. I don't feel hungry. We'll count it up, but I think I'm taking anywhere between like 2,000 and 2,500 calories a day. I know that's pretty low, but that's what my body is used to. If I got my intake to 
3,500 for the last six months to a year, then this would be hard going down to 2,000, 2,500. My body's used to performing at 2,500, maybe 3,000 at the most. Your appetite, you could see it as a muscle. It takes time to build and develop. So you don't wanna go from 2,000 calories to 4,000 in a week. And if you're trying to cut, you don't wanna go from 4,000 to 2,000. You wanna gradually cut it down. If I have a one-on-one -on -one client, I would tell them like, do not go from 4,000 to 2,000. I understand you wanna get shredded, you wanna get lean, but go from like 4,000 to maybe like 3750. You have to track your macros if you want to cut. Just Google your plate or go to my fitness pal or you can download my app burn and build uh, we count your macros out for you and then also we'll tell you what you're supposed to be intaking for your height your weight your body fat percentage and your goals first meal i usually will go egg white i don't know the exact serving size of this because i do have a chef i give her what my coach gives me and then from there she'll just measure it out and make sure everything's perfect and then um, i have blueberries with with the oats i warm up the oats of course in the microwave i'll put some cinnamon in it after it's done cooking and then i'll throw the blueberries inside so usually I eat this meal together along with the protein shake, one scoop. All right, so this right here in particular has 25 grams of protein, 120 calories to be exact. I'll have that usually right after. I'll take my supplements, I'll take my vitamins and stuff like that. Now, what I'm gonna do today is because I'm going on a run, this is not an everyday thing for me. I'll run maybe like once or twice a week just to make sure I still got it. You know what I'm saying? I keep the speed. The days that I do run, the days that I do my sprints and stuff, I'm gonna take this out, boom, right here because I don't wanna be bloated. We're making some fire content for the gram and stuff like that, I'll throw it on the screen. Um, so I don't wanna be bloated. Like you don't wanna eat too much before you sprint, but I do wanna be fueled a little bit. So I'm gonna also take these oats and these blueberries out as well. And then from there, we got the egg white bites. Usually I'll put sriracha ketchup on them. It has 15 calories, four carbs, four grams of sugar, and zero grams of protein. I just throw a little bit on there. All right, I'm not gonna spoil myself. Like if your nutrition is off, if your, your, your physique is off, if your training is off, you're not really giving yourself self-love, self-care, you have none to give. I need you guys to understand that. So make sure that you're investing to yourself, bro. You got the ice cream, you got the cheesecake, you got the Hershey bar, whatever, and you got looking in the mirror and being 100% happy. This outweighs this every time for me. I'd rather look in the mirror and be happy with myself, my presentation, rather than eating like junk every single day. And guess what? I still get to eat the junk twice a week, so it's a treat. Now I'm getting into meal number two. And after meal number two, I'm gonna go straight to the gym. So this is like my pre-workout meal. And usually with my pre-workout meals, I like to have that an hour before I go to the gym. I let it digest. Anyways, so this right here is a shoulder day. All right, so my shoulder days, my coach threw in a little bit more carbs, protein, and just calories in general because that is my focus. Like you see, like my triceps, my biceps are taking over. So the goal is to get bigger in this area. If there is like, you know, you wanna put some weight in your arms or whatever, you have your arm day, just taking a little bit more on those days. But for this meal right here, we have turkey, rice, and broccoli. For this video right here, you guys can see that my calories are pretty low. Like I'm in a cut, but just because I'm cutting with this food doesn't mean that this video is not for you. If I'm taking in 2,500 calories and you need to put on some weight and your macro count is at 3,500 calories or 4,000 calories, you can eat the same food, just add more. So this is what we call a clean bulk. A lot of people bu dirty bulk, like when you're bulking, you feel like you can eat whatever. No, this is terrible. The goal is to put on muscle, not fat. Muscle is gonna work for you, fat's gonna work against you. So just because you're on a bulk, bro, doesn't mean you need to have like freaking a cheat meal every single day. Nah, don't do it like that, bro. Eat clean, just eat more. We got the sriracha. So I put this on most of my meals rather than my breakfast. For the breakfast, I do sriracha ketchup because it has like a little bit more sugar to it, just like a little flavor. And yeah, this is meal number two. I'm gonna show you guys a close up, man. This one. Nah, this one's on here. This is meal number two. But yeah, anyways, we got the sriracha, we got the rice, and if you can see like the little pieces of ground turkey, I know I normally wouldn't eat this much rice in a meal. I'm kind of like scared about it, bro. Like, I'm a guy, like, I can put on weight easy. Putting on weight for me is not a problem. Eating for me, not the problem. The problem is losing. When I get into the habit of eating 3,500 calories, 4,000 calories, I never feel full, I don't feel stuffed, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard for me to go down from that to 2,500. Once I'm doing that for like, you know, a month, now I feel good. I feel like I have the energy, I know how to divide my food up, and that's important too. Everyone's different. Some people need three like bigger meals, and some people would prefer like five small meals because they just need to eat like every two to three hours. And don't look at it like jail, bro. Just look at it like a lifestyle. Like you don't want to go from 4,000 calories to 2,000 calories, or just like some days like, yo, I forgot to eat today. Like that's not gonna be good for you, bro. Treat your body good because your body's not gonna perform good if it's used to the 3,000 calories, and then one day you just don't eat because you're working so hard. Your body's gonna crash and tank. So if you 
looking for longevity, if you're looking to maximize your potential, not just in the gym, but just in life, period, make sure that you're getting it in. You know what I'm saying? Treat your body right. But yeah, this is meal number two. Meal number two, I'm actually gonna watch like a little show with it. We'll get into meal number three after the workout. Today's workout was kind of light. It was kind of chill. You saw I hit shoulders because I did my cardio before, so I ain't even like doing anything too crazy as far as like sweating. I'm not drained. Like I still have good energy. Getting into the last meals, bro, before we hit a million subs, rice cakes. So I eat like two of these little thin rice cakes a day um, after my workouts. I'm excited about this one. We have turkey, sweet potato, and spinach. I'm really gonna take this meal in like and just have time to myself. Um, because I deserve it. Like today was a good day. This is what it looks like right here. It's cold and it really is good. My coach was telling me to put like pink salt on it. We even does something for like the pump or something like that. I know salt makes you retain water. I'm no scientist or anything like that. I'm giving you guys my experiences from, you know, what I've learned from my own fitness training. Yo, this is crazy. Like I have so much energy right now. All right, so after I finish this meal right here, I'm gonna eat this Greek yogurt. I'm gonna put the protein cereal in the Greek yogurt. This is a protein cereal right here. We have 110 calories. We have total grams of fat, five grams. We have carbohydrates, we have 14 carbs. We have zero grams of sugar, zero grams of added sugar, of course, and then 11 grams of protein. So it's pretty good, that's what it is. But yeah, this is super amazing, highly recommended. That's the entire video. That's everything I eat, your boy eats in a day. Everything I eat in a day, bro. You have all the tools that I have. We do have a 12 week challenge coming up. 12 week challenge, I want you guys to train how I've been training for prep. You know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be as hard as the prep. There's different levels. If you wanna lose weight, we have you know different cardio and stuff like that. If you're trying to build muscle, we have different things for you. So don't get intimidated like, oh, I'm about to be on prep. But it's pretty much like 12 weeks, train like your boy, train like Ashton. If you wanna more so see like what I eat, on every single day, on my rest days, on my refeed days. Refeed day is like my cheat day. If you wanna see all that, if you want access to all that, if you wanna take your results, your game to the next level, definitely download the app. Like, give it a shot, bro, like for real. Interrupt this video, cut it off, pull out your phone, go to the app store, type in Burn and Build app, or you can click the link in my bio and on Instagram. This is 2023, the year is almost over. We have to get better. We're not gonna start in January, we're gonna start right now. People who are talking about three weeks, Three months later, whether it's fitness, business, or relationship, I know these guys aren't going too far. I don't give these guys too much conversation. Like literally one day I was like, okay, I'm gonna just come up with this little online training program and get my followers in shape because I had a couple thousand followers. I wanted to get them in shape. Literally just started it that day and we're here now three years later. I just started that day. I didn't say, yo, I'm gonna wait a month or two months. Now this was COVID, I had nothing else to do. I started that day. But anyways, it's the end of the video, bro. Million subs, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so, so much. Like I'm not just saying that. This is not just that, you know, cringy YouTube guy just saying I appreciate you guys, all this other stuff. Like I actually mean that from the bottom of my heart, man. It's much love. And I'm gonna get off before I start getting sensitive. Deuces.